Two sides who have struggled at the start of the championship season go head-to-head -head this evening as Barnsley hosts Aston Villa at Oakwell. Just three wins between them so far in their 13 games played, so both will be hoping to kick-start their season sooner rather than later. Amazingly, Barnsley have never beaten Aston Villa here at Oakwell in their entire history, drawing two and losing seven. It's Barnsley on the front foot early on. Good pace as well into the penalty area, good sliding block though. And the danger is cleared by Aston Villa who now look to try and set up a counter-attack and there's plenty of space as well. Man over on this right-hand side, it's Robert Snodgrass. Look to try and get it on that left foot of his, which he does. And the shot was a good one that needed saving from Adam Davis. Just a warning sign for Barnsley though. This is what Robert Snodgrass can do. Davis got more height than... I think he wanted on that goal kick, but the loose ball has found its way to a Barnsley player. Although they've given it straight back to Aston Villa. Such a slow start this season for Aston Villa. I think many people thought they were big contenders this season. They still might be. As the shot comes in, it was hit very well. It was always heading over, though, from Keenan Davis. Good feat initially to work the angle. It's come all the way through as well. The goalkeeper's come off his line. He's completely missed it. Oh, it's a howler. Adam Davis in the Barnsley goal. He came flying off his line. He really should have dealt with it. And in the end, Albert Adoma just taps the ball into an open net. Straight through his legs. And Adoma with his first league goal of the season. That is not one that Adam Davis will want to see again. It's a gift for Aston Villa. So what kind of response can Barnsley find? Great feat to escape the challenge. And it's Aston Villa coming forward again. And again, it's Robert Snodgrass in plenty of space out on this right-hand side. This time he goes on his right foot. Good delivery as well. And the header is a tame one this time. Robert Snodgrass is causing problems down this right-hand touchline. It's a really clever back heel. Two or three red shirts in the penalty area as well. Cut out by John Terry. Barnsley have themselves a throw in. Nice clever ball over the top. In comes the delivery. Needs dealing with and James Chester wasn't entirely sure what was behind him. So, corner for the home side. Plenty of red shirts inside the penalty area. It's a good delivery as well. And the header is just wide. Aston Villa had a couple of men actually on the line, just in case. It's good awareness from John Terry, wasn't it, who went straight onto the line after the ball was uh, over his head. Long ball over the top, it's a good one as well. Davis has got on the end of it, oh, it's an awful challenge. Surely a penalty, yes it is. Although he immediately runs to the linesman to protest his innocence. It was Adam Jackson with the challenge, but the referee was in no doubt whatsoever. Immediately pointed to the spot. Adam Jackson not happy at all, this angle should tell us more. Well, did he just get a little touch on the ball first? Very difficult one for the referee, but it was the linesman who flagged instantly for the penalty. So it's going to be Albert Adoma. He's already scored one today. What a great time this would be to score just a minute before half-time. And Albert Adoma does just that. Adoma has two, Aston Villa have two. As I said, he hasn't scored Albert Adoma coming into this game. In the league, he did score in the Carabao Cup against Wigan, but an emphatic penalty. And Aston Villa have a bit of a cushion now. So, no doubt, Paul Heckingbottom would have had uh, a few stern words to say at half-time. 
What kind of response will Barnsley find in this second half? Ball played forward, good touch as well. And the turn, really good pass. Here's Jonathan Codger, the offside flag has gone up. It's not going to count, they're delighted to have Jonathan Codger back in the side, Aston Villa. Looked tight, but yeah, I think you can just see maybe his left leg was in an offside position. Snodgrass, good ball inside, trying to find Codger. Barnsley are able to clear the ball away. Aston Villa comes straight back, though. Great delivery! And there is the third. It's Keenan Davis who scored it. He's had a really good game today, Keenan Davis. Just 19 years of age. And it's his first ever senior goal for Aston Villa. An inch-perfect cross from El Mahamadi. And a really good header that just had too much on it for Adam Davis to deal with. And Aston Villa have a third. That's what it means to the young 19-year-old. First of many, I'm sure, in Aston Villa colours. Here's Davis again. He's looked really impressive today. Half-hearted appeals for handball. The referee was well-placed and waved it away. Have another look here. It's Taylor that ran through. Well, it did hit the arm, but was very, very close to Neil Taylor. Was the arm away from the body, though? Well, Steve Bruce has ended on the losing side in all four previous league visits to Oakwell as manager, all with four different teams. Sheffield United, Huddersfield, Birmingham City and Hull City. It looks as though he is finally going to pick up a victory here with Aston Villa. Perhaps this is just the performance they needed to try and kick-start their campaign that's been a slow burner so far. As Barnsley looked to get one back, and the shot was always high and rising. Worth taking on. Well, can Barnsley get one back at least? You never know. Aston Villa may start feeling a little nervy. It's all been... Very comfortable for them so far. That's a really nice thing to do as well from the Barnsley supporters. You can see all the lights there in the background. For that man there, the owner of Barnsley, Patrick Crine, who unfortunately has been diagnosed with cancer. Well, the space has opened up for him here. Here comes the delivery. The header is a good one. But it's straight down the throat of Sam Johnston. He made a comfortable save in the end and he'll be a little disappointed because either side of him, surely it was a goal. Time beginning to run out here for Barnsley. Great tackle to win the ball back as well and now Aston Villa can come forward. Here is Scott Hogan, the man that arrived from Brentford. Hogan appeals for handball, not given. Hogan's shot is well saved. Still the ball with Aston Villa and the shot in the end was a tame one from the edge of the penalty area. Conor Horahan, of course, the former Barnsley player. Scott Hogan did well. Aston Villa didn't lose one of their first 11 league games against Barnsley between 1936 and 1997, but since then, the Villains have lost two of their last three. And it looks as though they are going to pick up a victory here today. But Barnsley might well get a consolation. Well, they should well have done. What a chance that was. It was Ugbo who went through. He'll be very disappointed that he hasn't at least got one back for the home side. Couldn't have asked for a better opportunity, really. Well, Barnsley have certainly seen more of the ball as this second half has gone on. Not the best challenge there. Free kick has been awarded and a yellow card as well to Conor Hurahan. Free kick to Barnsley. Plenty of red shirts have gone forward for it as well. Instead, it's one straight off the training ground. The shot was easily saved. It was Adam Hamill with the effort. 
Has to be better than that to beat Sam Johnston. Which hasn't quite happened for Barnsley today as the full-time whistle is blown. And will this be the match that finally kickstarts Aston Villa's season? It's been a slow start for Steve Bruce's men, but the damage was done by Albert Adoma in the first half with two goals, and then young Keenan Davis scored his first senior goal for the club. It finished Barnsley nil, Aston Villa three.